welcome back to the Gourmet Pens channel. Um, as you can see, there is no me to see. I am feeling under the weather and I figured instead of having no video, I would have a faceless video and you're just gonna have to imagine my beauty. Um, today, I actually saved this pen because it's kind of festive and Christmassy and I wanted to save it for December. So here we go. Today we're going to be talking about the Tianzi fountain pen. This was sent to me to review and I've had it for quite a few months now and I've been using it and getting to know it. So I'm feeling pretty confident in being able to share a Christmas recommendation for you. So straight off the bat, you're looking at like 40 to 50 US dollars. Uh, you can buy them on Etsy, but I also know that Scritura Elegante is now carrying them. So I will include a link for you. No affiliation, just sharing it in case you're looking for it. Um, I really like the packaging. I like it's small and simple and cute. The view from without losing body posture exhibition air kua handwriting as flowing clouds. I can see the flowing clouds. I don't know what the rest of it means, but I really like this. It's got that nice sheeny metallic look and inside it's just really simple. It's the, the pen came in a little plastic baggie. You can remove this, add a little like gift note to someone. It's perfect. It's not too excessive. It's not ridiculously large and I really like it. So this is the pen the Tianzi fountain pen. This is the white swirl. They also have a blue and some more solid ones, but I really like this for the Christmas look. I really like Christmas. I am we're just one of those people who likes the lights and the festivities because Christmas is nice in the middle of, you know, the darkness of winter. So that's one of the reasons I like it. Here we have just a selection of pens that are not actually <laughs> in order of size. Um, so I'm thinking that's what we're looking at. Nope, there we go. We have a Caveco Art Sport, the Estabrook Pocket Junior, a Pilot Metropolitan, Platinum Preppy, Jinhao X750, or is this the X450? No, 750, Lamy Safari, Twisby Diamond 580, our Tianzi Piston Filler, and an Esterbrook ST in the regular size. So it's definitely a full-size pen, like it's a good size. Um, and I think in the price range of $40 to $50, um, it's, it's quite comparable to like the Twisby in terms of what you're getting. So let's look at this a little more detailed. So here we go. I mean, it's not super branded. Uh, the only branding is on the center band. It says Tianzi, uh, China, and also on the nib. Other than that, it's pretty mysterious. Nice clip. The clip is super tight. I don't really have nails right now, but uh, the clips is, it's, it's tight. Uh, it works really well. So that's a good thing if you're a clip user. It's a piston filler. As you can see, there is ink in it, so I'm not going to do stuff with the piston. <laughs> um, if we uncap, one thing I do like is the inner cap thing is clear. So let me grab the Twisby here. The Twisby also has an inner cap, but it's smoky gray. So if you're someone who likes the clean, clear look of a clear pen and don't want that inner cap to be visible. It's pretty good. It's hidden away. The seal is really good, so I haven't had it dry out. In hand, really comfortable. Um, I like this is a metal ring around a plastic piston, so it's not super heavy. And for me, it's really good. Well balanced and you can post it when you post it, it's a bit ridiculous but if you're someone who really likes to post you can but it's not great posted and when i inked it you can use the piston um i was really i don't have it on me i don't have it here but i was filling from a very a taller sample vial and so i couldn't get this all the way down so i actually just opened up the section here <laughs> which i'm doing right now and pour the ink in. So it's a great pen 
for using up those little samples because it's just easy to deal with. I, I really like these simple fillers. Like, yes, it's a piston. That's great if you want a piston filler, but if you want to just pour your sample vial in, perfect. So if you want to see the nib, uh, yes, it is a steel nib. This is a medium. It's basically a fine medium. Like it's not really identifiable as medium. Um, it's got a plastic feed, a single slit, a round breather hole. And I, at first, I tried it on a Midori notebook, that Midori MD, and I hated it. And the reason for that is because it does not do well with toothy paper. It just didn't work well for me. And what I did find was it works really nicely on smooth paper. So here I have one of these, uh, what is it called? Kakimai. Anyway, it's smooth paper. Um, and also I've got my Cosmo Air Light. So let's, let's do a little writing in here so you can see what I mean. We've got... TNZ piston filler. White swirl. It's a nice snowy Christmas pen. Yes, I know I forgot the tittle. I'm going back, don't worry. So, I mean, I guess it's a medium. I don't know. I I usually use, like, really broad writers. If you know me, you know this. Um, so, yeah, it's a medium. <laughs> so I really shouldn't complain. But it works really well on nice, smooth paper. It's got a nice, like, cushioned feel. Decently wet. If you're looking for a daily writer, it's superb. And the reason for that is because with the smooth paper, you can squeeze out a little bit extra shading. But other than that, it's it dries pretty quickly. It's got really good ink flow. Um, you've got a good ink capacity. So, hello, Jello. It's not like, I mean, it's not a flex nib. You can, as I said, you can squeeze out some extra shading, which you can see there. But um, I really like it. I really like the writing experience and it has been my go-to for dumping like the last bits of my sample vials into. I am not gonna lie, I was not expecting much. I thought it would dry out and be really scratchy. It is not. The only thing is it doesn't work well with toothy paper and that's perfectly fine. Also, super comfortable, really cute. I like clear pens and especially like the swirls are perfect. You can see there's some color to it, but there's also a lot of clear for the ink window look. Um, this ink is Mont Blanc Pop Pink. Now, I don't know what they would recommend for cleaning, uh, maybe not unscrewing the section, but I've had no issues. It's been so, it's just been so easy. Like, it's so enjoyable and low maintenance for me. And, like, when I'm doing reviews and I have, like, 30 pens inked or 50 or 70, um, having a low maintenance, easy to clean pen makes my life a lot easier. And uh, maybe it'll make your life easier and maybe you'll enjoy it. And... As such, I think it is a great Christmas gift option.
that is all, my friends. I wanted to share this with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for being here for this truly peculiar year that it has been. I hope you're enjoying the channel, and I hope you have a lovely holiday time, Christmas, New Year. Wishing you and yours a safe, happy, and healthy holidays. I am Gourmet Pens. You can find me on the socials, and you can also find me at Gourmet Pens Shop if you're looking for a little gifty or two. It's been so long since I've done a video that I I'm like forgetting how to do them. But anyway, hopefully I'll be feeling better soon so that I can stick my face back on here. And that's everything. Take care, everybody. We will see you soon. Bye.